So uh, somebody else mentioned that they were married like a newlywed. One of the comics? Like a year or something like that? Yeah. 38 years now. Oh, oh, no, don't applaud. Don't applaud. Don't, don't. It could end at any moment. I have no idea what's keeping it together. I really don't. <laughs> Believe it's not me. Believe me, it's not me. It's a, not that I'm trying to destroy it, but God, we don't really. Guys don't work at relationships. Women are the glue to a relationship. Wouldn't you agree? They're actively, they work at it. Guys just kind of, we just reappear out of the bedroom every morning, pretty much. That's pretty much all. Oh, another day. Thank you. Woo, made it. Okay. All right. See you tonight. Okay. I should be here tonight, right? Okay. Because I'm not really sure what the rules are. <laughs> well, you guys remember when you first fall in love, though. Isn't it great? Nobody else exists on the planet, just the two of you. Those are great times, right? You have to kiss at every, every red light on a Friday night date. Remember that? Just driving along on a Friday night date. Red light, kiss me. Oh. <laughs> sure do love you. It changes after a few years, though, doesn't it? <laughs> so the red light, kiss me. Get off. It's a dangerous intersection. What's wrong with you? you lost your mind or something? <laughs> amazed at how, how women end up with the guy they're with. Think about that, guys. I mean, they, they saw tens of thousands of guys before they chose you. They didn't have to choose you, but, choose you, but one day they just, all out of the blue, they just go, I'll take that one. <laughs> so in my mind, that's how it went. <laughs> it's probably much more involved than that. I'll take that one. No, not the good looking one. No, 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 not that one. No, 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 not the tall one. No, 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 no. Give me that little idiot right there. <laughs> That little idiot right there. Yeah, I can mold and bend and shape him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be back in an hour. Clean him up and bring him around front. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to DSW. They're having a big sale. I have a lot of boxes. I need him to carry him. All right, let's go. Right. <laughs> Being in love. Doing things together. That's the key to a good romance, a good relationship, isn't it? Doing things together. Wouldn't you? That's important to women, doing things together. We never, that's their biggest complaint, too. We don't do anything together. You ever hear that? We don't do anything together. And guys think we're doing something together just by being there. <laughs> together, what do you want? <laughs> no, I want to do something together, something fun, you know, something romantic. Want to shoot pool? <laughs> what do you want? What are you talking about? You know, let's do something together. Something fun, just the two of us, you know. Let's paint the entire downstairs. involves labor with you guys. Then <laughs> if you won't help, they'll start the project on their own, won't they? But I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, still painting your stereo. <laughs> Give me the brush. <laughs> Guess I'll go shopping while you do that. <laughs> She bought another pair of shoes that aren't made for walking. <laughs> She's got a closet full of shoes that aren't made for walking. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> we live like five minutes from a metro stop, a subway stop, and she'll call me every night. Are you going to pick me up? I'm like, it's five minutes. Can't you walk? These shoes aren't made for walking. <laughs> I'm thinking, for $300 a pair, click your heels together and fly home. What are you talking about? In any case, back to my marriage. <laughs> 38 years. Oh, 38 years. Doing things together. We have a king size bed at home. I get about this much of it. <laughs> she sleeps like she's skydiving, all spread out, you know, just. <laughs> I'm allowed two sleeping positions. That's all I get. Here's one. Here's the other one. One night I was doing this. She goes, why are you so restless? I can't sleep if you're gonna to toss and turn on me. <laughs> they don't have a mattress store just for men, you know? I like to buy a mattress. Are you married? You betcha. Here you go, sir. There you go. <laughs> this is comfortable. We call it the twins. <laughs> Very, I can almost move in this. I'm not used to this kind of space. Is Women have to be touching you when they're in bed. Have you noticed that? An elbow, a toe, something. It's like they're afraid we're gonna leave in the middle of the night and not come back or something. A little bit of content. Where are you going? I'm just going to the bathroom. You're right I can't stand it because they radiate like this nuclear fusion type of heat. 
Have you noticed the heat they put off? It's unbelievable. It's worse than Utah heat in the summertime. It's an, it's an, you, end up, you end up building the, the heat shield pillow wall between you. Have you done that? You're lying there with asbestos pajamas on, oven mitts. I'm burning up. I feel like I'm in re-entry. What's wrong with you? Heat shield pillow wall. <laughs> We're pretty traditional in our roles. I, uh, I'm in charge of lawn care and vehicle maintenance. She takes care of everything inside. She says that cleaning helps her to relax. <laughs> so I make sure the place stays a mess. <laughs> Crap everywhere. Hey, you seem stressful. <laughs> Let me just dump my dirty shoes over here. You know? She cleans the house, my stuff disappears. That's a female thing. Because when I was a kid, my mom would clean. I can remember this. Everybody's stuff would disappear. And you can't find it again. If they don't tell you where they put it, you're never going to find it again. But I think the name of the place where they put everything is called Away. <laughs> if you ask them, that's what they'll tell you. I put it away. <laughs> that's right next to where it belongs. <laughs> but where does it belong? Well, if you put it away, you'd know where it belongs. <laughs> I just want my keys. <laughs> keys. <laughs> if you've been in a rela relationship long enough, you start using each other's phrases and things like that. I call them wifeisms because women cuten words up. And I never use her phrases until I can be embarrassed by it. That's what it seems like. Like I was at the gym, I got a shower, I came back to the locker room to get dressed, and I just blurted it out. Has anyone seen my undies? <laughs> The married guys are helping me look. You know? I see. Did you put them away? I don't see them. <laughs> all the single guys are packing up their gear, backing out of the place. What is that all about? <laughs> guys, where are you going? I thought we were going to have a beer together, huh? Yeah, let me go potty. I'll be right with you. <laughs> and every guy has that 12 little. Talk about cleaning house. Every guy's at 12 little square inches of counter space. Guys, you know what I'm talking about? So when you come home, you put your wallet, your keys, your, your change right there. Every time when you come home, right, every time since you walk in the door, it's where everything goes. That's all the real estate you have in that relationship. That's your little, <laughs> your little work right there, boy. But when they start cleaning, don't they become fixated on that little spot? Now then, what is, what is this? What is this? What, are you using it? Are you using it? If you're not using it, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm throwing it away. I'm trying to keep this place clean. You know where it belongs. I told you where it belongs. Put it away. Why don't you put it away? <laughs> There's a guy going through. <laughs> and you put your stuff there for a reason, right, guys? You put it there every time for a reason. <laughs> because if you want to get out of that relationship, you want to be able to get your hands on your stuff and get out of there. <laughs> Can't make that announcement. We're finished. <laughs> There's a way this time. Because <laughs> there's always another time. You put your stuff away. And if your wallet's lying there, guys, we are so linear, aren't we? We put it right there. And if it's not right there, if it's over here, if they move it, we can't find it. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Where's my wallet? It's on the counter where you left it. I don't see it. <laughs> you moved it. Where is it? I mean, that's how stupid we really are. And then they come out. It's right in front of you. <laughs> it wasn't in front of me. It was over there. <laughs> so stupid, it really is. 